Oh man, that started all over again. My daughter just called me in the middle of a video and her little goat, she got a little pygmy goat that's not uh, doing so well. It's just crying and I told her she needed to get it to the vet. Anyway, I feel terrible for her. <sighs> Ministry revealed. I'm going to try to start this thing again. Ministry revealed just did it again. Hopefully I can keep my thoughts straight now that I heard that. Ministry revealed just did it again. They uh, they just threw a landmine out that sent chills up my back or down my spine, like they say, and the hair stand up on the back of my neck. I was floored when I heard this news. And um, you know in the Bible where it says that Jesus paid for the sins of the world before the foundations of the world. That means before God ever created anything, before the planet was ever here, that Jesus paid from before the foundations of the world. I haven't finished listening to it. I uh, literally um, finished with work and headed home. And I was listening to it, and I had to pause the video because I was absolutely floored by what I heard. Um, I, I have wrestled with this for a very long time. I'm 56 years old, and I've been working on this stuff since I was in my 20s. On and off, not constantly. Lived my life, worked my jobs, did my, you know, married and everything else, raised kids. But at the, at the same time, I've always studied and, and tried to figure it out and understand and so, we've also had a problem with the Bible stating that Jesus was in the grave for three days and three nights. We try to bend time and change time and try to understand that. How in the world are you going to, maybe they made a mistake, maybe we misunderstood what day it was, and the Bible's never wrong. It's always right. Bible never makes a mistake. Every single word in the Bible is in the exact right spot. There might be a mistranslation a little bit of a word, like catch away. I would call it rapture. The, the, the Latins got it correct when they called it a rapturo. But at any rate, there's nothing wrong with the Bible. It's perfect in every way. And precept upon precept, verse upon verse, line upon line, uh, once you get into it and you understand a concept and then you reread the Bible with that concept in your mind, you'll see it. You'll see it. I see what Ministry Revealed is talking about. And I've, like I said, for years I've wrestled with the problem of Jesus did pay before the foundations of the world and, let me roll up this window, it's getting loud, and... Um, he was in the grave for three days and three nights. In the belly of the earth, it says. What if, what if, and ministry, I, I put a comment on ministry revealed before I left the office, and uh, I'm, gonna, I'm rushing home as fast as I can because i got to see the rest of this. This is, this is driving me nuts. <laughs> this is a great day. So what if, and I, I haven't heard him say it yet, but I, I text that in, in the comment section, and he replied. He said, continue watching the video. You're going to be amazed. I already know I'm going to be amazed. The guy is amazing with the stuff he comes up with. So I believe what he's going to say is what, why my face went flush and my hair stood up was that Jesus did pay before the foundations of the world, and the three days is split up. He was in the belly of the earth for three days. Past, present, and future. God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Uh, Jesus, this is not the first time he came to earth when we uh, talk about it here in 2000 years ago. He also came here, um, Melchizedek, I'm going to forget his name, but uh, when he was here, there was a war going on, and the, they were coming back, and he said, come to my house. It's the only person in the Bible ever spoke about as being a, both a priest and a king, the only one. And they knew him by not having a mother and a father. Who else has no mother and father back before 
Jesus was here. So it's not anything new. Um, I would suggest you watch Ministry Revealed here and uh, learn about this because now, now, after wrestling with these two verses for over 30 years, now wrestling with these two verses for over 30 years, I'm going to run home and I'm going to watch this, the end of this, and it is going to make complete sense. That's what the Bible is all about. Precept upon precept, line upon line, verse upon verse. When it's said and done, when you when you get brought along with, with the concept and, and you see it and you read it and you understand it, like I said, two raptures and a group of people wait for the city to come. Each one of you is correct. You are all correct. There is going to be a rapture before anything happens. There will be a rapture after the is it the seals, the seven seals are opened, and there's going to be a visitation, or the, the the holy city is going to set down, and there's going to be a group of people that are also forgiven and accepted at the end, and they're going to be the ones that are ruled over by those that were raptured in the first two raptures. So. Hang on to your seats, people. This is getting wild. And I knew it. I knew it all these years that I've studied this stuff and, and searched this stuff. The, 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 the book of uh, Daniel was sealed up for the time of the end. We were not supposed to know any of this stuff, and we didn't. Nobody saw this stuff. Nobody understood this stuff. But when you, like me, years ago, a long time ago in my 20s, when, when I said, I read the Bible and I thought to myself, I did this on my own. I wasn't, uh, I'm not a church big church goer or anything like that or uh, public prayer or, or you know hands-on type of guy I'm not that type of guy but I, I knew a long time ago I would write down a question I've read the Bible many many times I write the question down that I want to know write three or four or five questions down that I want to know and as I read the Bible if something popped up jumped out at me the question was answered can we know the date of the end of the world I asked that question to God. I read the Bible, and I have about 30 verses that says, yes, we can. I believe we're going to know. I believe it's going to be as clear as, you know, as, as day when it comes out. So, um, like I said, watch Mission Revealed. I'm headed home, Repo Man 64. If my videos mean anything, like and share them, comment on them. If there's something I uh, said wrong or a different understanding that you might have, um, any revelation like Ministry Revealed is coming out with like this, this is wild stuff. If you've got anything like that, please put it on there because I'll talk about it. You know, I don't have a lot of followers. Who knows what the Lord will do with my channel? Maybe my channel is only here to save one person, just one person. That's all I care about is that one person, because you might be the last one, and if you're the last one, and you kneel down and accept Jesus into your heart, and uh, you're the last sheep that, that, that is brought back into the fold, and the end comes, then there's going to be a party celebrated for you. You're going to be pretty important. So uh, we'll chat with you all later, RepoMan64.